Stefan Segrist is on his way to the summit. And along the way, he's capturing some spectacular pictures using a special camera attached to his backpack. He's recording his route along the rock face in full detail. The still photos and videos are then posted on the project's website for everyone to see. With just a click of the mouse, viewers can move from location to location along the challenging alpine routes. Though it's all virtual, it offers an amazingly authentic experience. You see what we see as we make the climb. You feel the exertion, feel the snow, hear the sound of the climbing irons, feel the excitement of your fellow climbers. It really is astonishing how you feel when you're up there, climbing the mountain yourself. You can look up, you can look down, you see exactly what we saw when we were there. The Swiss outdoor equipment company Mammut developed a 360-degree technique. It uses six small cameras, and they simultaneously film in all directions. The concept behind the project was to create a kind of Google Street view for the mountains. Not the hiking trails, but the steep alpine routes. People can immerse themselves in the north face of the Eiger from the safety and comfort of their sofa. The journey across the legendary Eiger north face is one of the most difficult climbs in the world. More than 60 mountaineers have died in the attempt. The route is four kilometers across the rock face, reaching an elevation of more than 4,000 meters. There are lots of tricky spots and ice, so there's a very high level of difficulty. Even experienced mountaineers who are preparing for their first attempt at the North Face find it helpful to follow the journey online. Like when they're preparing for the challenging Hintersteusser Traverse. Once you're actually there, you recognize what you saw online. You see what equipment the climbers used. From home, you can see what it looks like, what kind of hazards you'll encounter, what kind of safety equipment you'll need. And climbers can even view the images from the mountainside itself. Moving the smartphone controls the direction of the panoramic view. Zegrist needed to change his climbing style so that he could take the videos properly. You can't jolt your upper body too much. First of all, you don't want to bang the camera against the rock. But you also have to hold steady to get usable footage. Jumping around doesn't work. You need a good, steady rate. The project has launched a new chapter in mountaineering. The team plans to film the world's most important mountains using their panoramic camera setup. The Eiger North Face and Matterhorn are already on the net. Soon they'll be followed by Mount Everest, the world's highest mountain peak. Mount Everest isn't terribly exciting. The normal route to the peak is relatively flat. It's not like climbing a cliff face. It's much more like walking. Everest is popular and sells well, but it's not for me. It's too commercial for me and not what I'm looking for in a climb. I want solitude, technical challenges and the aesthetic appeal of a rock face. Even with all that high-tech equipment on his back, communing with nature is central to the experience. That's why Stefan Ziegrist focuses on filming climbs that are solitary and challenging. That way, he can feed the fascination of those who don't dare climb it for real. <laughs>